Boy, wandering the streets of Houston in just a diaper is safe tonight. And this is all thanks to quick actions of a stranger who noticed this toddler. Our Roseanne Aragon is in third ward tonight with a story. And you're going to see only on two tonight. This father and Houston rapper who goes by Big Asanchi posted the viral video on Instagram of a situation that got him very concerned. It happened right here on this street on Alabama. To play basketball, son? Ball. I looked at that baby. I looked at it as if it was my child. Michael good Henry ball. is a proud father of see. two. Dunk it. Boy, good boy. So when he was driving to his daughter's hair appointment Wednesday on Alabama near Tier Wester, he couldn't believe what he saw. A baby standing on the sidewalk, like walking down the sidewalk, no... No shoes, no shirt, just a pamper. By himself, dude. A two-year-old boy, he says, alone. It was 9 a.m., cold and raining. I had my son in the car with me, so I automatically, it automatically broke my soul. Get him, man. His heart stopped. I panicked. Behind bars facing federal charges as part of a joint operation to crack down on violent offenders in the Houston area. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at the downtown federal courthouse with some new details about this big bust. Bryce? Keith and Daniela, we've learned tonight from the FBI that more than 200 personnel, tactical teams from all across the state, came in and surrounded the homes of these 14 accused criminals, arresting them at 6 o'clock in the morning. For the second time in two months, the FBI announcing a group of arrests, the special agent in charge of the Houston division says target violent crime. For every criminal that we take off the streets, that's one less person being victimized. For Early Wednesday morning, FBI tactical teams helped arrest 14 men indicted for federal violations like drug trafficking and unlawful possession of a firearm. Guns and drugs, they fuel violent crime. Court records show several of the men have lengthy criminal histories in Harris County. Well, federal charges uh, usually are longer sentences. It's much harder to be released on bond on the federal side than it is on the state side. The arrests come after federal and local officials in September announced a surge of law enforcement tools and resources to the Houston area to target gangs. We're going to use every resource available to make sure that we're dismantling gangs, that we are dismantling criminal network. And that's work that won't stop. And we will keep chipping away at these criminal act, criminal enterprises and uh, to reduce the crime in the Houston area. That's our job. And the FBI tells us that it cannot do all of this investigative work without tips from the public. Whether it's big or small, the special agent in charge stressed the importance of sharing that information. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry. This was KPRC. All part of their investigation. The people arrested were taken in for various violations that include drug trafficking of meth and heroin, processing a Glock switch, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. We spoke to the attorney of one of the men today. Although he says he just received the case, he says a some of the people arrested are part of the hip hop community and says his client was actually on house arrest when he was taken in. I don't believe he was out in the community committing any crimes that were deemed to be violent. Um, so my understanding is that primarily the charges are drug related and I don't see the violent nature as to what the government may be alleging at this time. Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick on a few of Sauce Walker's TSF record label artists being arrested as part of a 14-man RICO that happened out here in Houston towards the end of last week. But the news just went viral yesterday on the hip-hop scene. And I'm going to have all the links in the description where you can read the write-ups from the websites coming directly with the factual information and also where you can watch the news links. And I put that clip in the beginning because it's crazy with Big Sanji. He was viral on the internet out here in Houston earlier this year for saving that baby who was outside in the freezing cold and nothing but a pamper, scratched up and everything, and that shit was wild. But now he's in the news viral for this. And first thing I want to say, man, is Sauce Walker has nothing to do with these RICO charges, and they have different, they have 14 names on there. I don't know nobody governments, but the media put it out, people researched and found, and they brought up Fifth Ward JP, Sancho, and also TSF Punch. And then Julo 
who was actually Peso Peso younger brother has been a part of this and named in this as some other related charges to this situation. Now, the other guys, I don't know if they T yourself or they just regular uh, people who don't rap out here and they just tied into the whole situation. So to my understanding right now, this is not a TSF Rico is what is being looked at as because Sauce Walker's the face and Sancho is most definitely part of the Sauce Twins. Now, what they saying is, and not everybody is being charged with the same thing. They said meth with intent to distribute, one person is being charged with uh, the heroin, and then some are being charged with, or one is being charged with being a convicted felon with a firearm. But when you put it as a whole group, it's going to come off as they all are doing this in this situation and everything like that. And that's just how the game is going to go. But they did say everybody except two is allegedly with the intent to distribute meth and everything like that. So this is a crazy situation. I just want the facts to be out. They actually had to go to court today at 9 a.m. And those details will come out later of what they really up against. And you know how these things go. It's a process, man. You can't solve the crime right away from your cell phone and everything of that nature. I want the way I can get more facts to see what is actually going on with this before I came and spoke on it. T itself has shown me love. Uh, Sauce, uh, Sauce Walker, Sancho, all the rappers and artists in TSF have shown the nigga love over time. We done work together and everything. Every time I see Sancho, it's love. He be at the rap events with the artists, tapping into the upcoming artists and everything like that, working with them, shooting videos. So whenever I see him, it's love. Hey, big ain't I rock with you, nigga. I watch you all the time. He makes sure he tell me that every time, and I most definitely appreciate it. So, Innocent until proven guilty, as I always say. The other thing that was crazy with this was when they said 200 federal agents are out here in Houston working right now. And there's been other uh, people being picked up out here in Houston in the streets who have nothing to do with like rapping or they're not artists and everything like that. But they've really been out here working and going crazy over these last few months, man. So Tell me what y'all think. We got more shit coming. Videos all at 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot, man.